Welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw this particular problem. To draw this particular problem, first, you have to draw the center line. You can do so using your ruler supported by your T-square. Next, you have to mark two points on the center line. Like these two points should be 200 millimeter apart. After that, draw a vertical line passing through the points you marked. Next, draw a line this way. The line should touch these two vertical lines. Now, label the point where the line touch through, where the line touch the two vertical lines. After that, you have to divide the line into 11 equal parts. You have to divide the line in ratio. So to do so, you have to draw a line from either point A or point B. The line should be inclined to this line at any convenient angle. This line can be any convenient length. Now adjust your compass to any convenient radius, then place your compass on point A. Then cut an arc in the inclined line. You are to continue this way until you mark 11 points. After marking the points, you know you have to number the points. After numbering the points, you have to draw a vertical line from point 2. Before that, you have to set your, your ruler and your set square this way. You have to place your ruler and your set square in such a way that your set square pass through point B and point 11. Then you have to draw a line joining point B and point 11. Next, you have to slide your set square. Without moving your ruler, you have to slide your set square on your ruler to point 8. Remember, you are not to move your ruler. So you have to draw a line joining the point and point 8. Next, you are, you are to go to point 3. You are to use the line you draw from point A to set your set square. Then you have to slide it to point 3. Then you have to draw a line. You have to also use the line you draw from point 3 to set your ruler and your set square. You have to ensure that the line you draw from point 3 is parallel with this side of your set square. Then you have to slide it down to point 2.
Next, you are to draw a vertical line from point where lines of division intersect line AB. I'm supposed to draw a line of division from point 7. So I will just do it now. I will set my ruler and set square in such a way that my set square, this side of my set square, is parallel to the line I draw from point 8. After that, I will slide the set square to point 7. Then I will produce line of division. So now I will continue drawing my vertical lines. Next, on this line here, I will mark 20 millimeter upward and 20 millimeter downward, making 40 millimeter. So I will draw a line joining the point. I will also do the same for this side. So I will mark 20 millimeter up and 20 millimeter down. That is making 40 millimeter. So I will draw line. So at this point here, I will mark 22.5 upward and 22.5 downward, making 45. So I will draw horizontal lines. So on this point here, we mark 37.5 upward and 37.5 downward, making 75. That is 75 millimeter. So I'm drawing line on these two points. So now we make bold the parts that are supposed to be bold that are not yet bold. So I'm done solving the problem. All that is left for me to do now is to dimension the work. The drawing has been completed successfully. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you.